Hi, Gail. Hi, Pat. Mystic Mama. That's actually uh, somebody's uh, Instagram handle. Okay, well, we've only got a couple of people signed on. I'm gonna give them one more minute, guys, if you don't mind. Uh, some people do watch this uh, on the replay, um, but we for sure are having more people signed up for today. So I'm just gonna give them one more minute. Hey Jen, welcome. My high chair squeaks. All right, well, we'll get started soon. Who else is here? Hey, Jude, welcome. Okay, so welcome everyone. I am Jennifer Clark. Uh, obviously I know most of you, if not everyone who signed up today. Uh, so today is the new moon in Libra and uh, the scales of justice being balanced. Um, equality, justice, inner balance, outer balance. Um, Fairness, uh, no coincidence that uh, the announcement was made today um, that shocked more people into sort of an awakened state of, yeah, an awakened state. So the energies are intense, uh, regardless of what position you're taking. Um, we've got, I think, four retrogrades raging, or maybe five, actually. I've lost track. Um, all about rebellion, inner, 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 inner resolve, inner, inner gifts coming out, inner warrior coming out, standing up, uh, taking chances, taking risks, uh, speaking up, speaking out. Um, also, though, the planet Mercury, which is the most famous retrograde, um is causing miscommunication misunderstanding um delays distractions um so we just really have to use our toolkit right now um while it was a gorgeous gorgeous sunny day a lot of us energy sensitives were internally like really tight and really feeling um like constricted um What's also very interesting is from many reports, including my own uh, physical responses, reactions, and dreams confirmed by other sources locally and internationally, there is actually a battle going on in the etheric uh, above us in, in the cosmos. So when I've been talking about a war coming, you know, for the last two years is a war, the war is here. Uh, and it's now not from an external force, it's, it's, it's within ourselves and amongst ourselves. 
So uh, for people who like me are in dream state at night, doing sort of inner work and inner journey, um, we're feeling that constant, um, it is a battle. It's a battle for good and evil. And again, there's no duality um, in source energy, source is love, but in the realms we live in, there's duality. So understand that uh, no matter what you know or don't know yet, um, there is a massive pissing match going on uh, energetically, etherically, physically on earth and the 3D. Uh, and um, with recent uh, news items in about Thanksgiving and labeling one group good and another group bad. Um, oh, Christine, you made it. Welcome. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's shit's getting real. Shit's getting uh, challenging. Um, and, uh, you know, it's empathy, having empathy, um, offering a kind word, uh, being sympathetic, even if it doesn't affect you, it will affect you, uh, at some point down the road when health passports expire and you're required to do more to keep your passport active. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's slowly getting into different sections of the, this is society. And more and more people are feeling um, the rebellion and the injustice. And you're going to start seeing that being acted out. Um, again, if it's not your world yet, it will be your world soon. So just being aware of, of that uh, in the world, um, always maintaining your own inner balance and your own love quotient and keeping your vibration high um, will uh, elevate you outside of the muck and mud and the mud slinging and the finger pointing. And um, in fact, you know, you could even uh, energetically work on being invisible to the world um, where that means um, you're gonna sail through things with much more ease and grace. So for those of you who did my Light Warrior program, um, I'm talking about that. Uh, the elements that we taught you there. Um, I'm actually doing another one because more people are sort of getting wise to what's happening, waking up, if you will. Um, I'm doing a training uh, in mid-November, um, another layer of it. Uh, but essentially, your visualization would be having a shield around you uh, that will cause you to be invisible. Uh, impermeable um, to outside forces. And um, I'll see if I can add it in today. So unfortunately, the topic today was about talents and gifts because it's the new moon. Uh, but because we're living in such the retrograde space, the new moon and the retrogrades are kind of like jumbling within each other. So it's kind of a mashup of energy right now. Uh, where you really need to energetically protect yourself and those you love, your property, your houses, um, your spaces. Uh, some people in my community are getting knocked on doors. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting weird for different sections of the community right now. And so you want to really kind of create that invisibility cloak. Uh, again, I'll be teaching that in my Light Warrior program um, in November. For those of you who did it, it's there. You already have it. So just activate your shields. Um, otherwise, just imagine yourself. Uh, the fastest way is the Harry Potter analogy of the invis invisibility cloak that can come over you. Um, and uh, that will also help you to have more ease and grace and kind of um, navigate through things. There's a really good scene in actually the movie Celestine Prophecy. Uh, of course, it's a book by James Redfield. If you haven't read it, read it. Um, there's a movie and it's kind of like a B-level movie, B-acting, but it's now on Netflix, which is awesome. And there's actually a scene where uh, the, the group that's finding Shangri-La, this sort of, uh, this holy, you know, um, city uh, is being chased down by the Spanish uh, or the Colombian military. And the military is basically right on top of them. And then there was sort of an orc field shift uh, in the consciousness of their group and they're vibrating higher and they've become invisible actually to the army. And so the army is standing there with their guns drawn and the group is safe. And um, uh, 
uh, it's a really good scene to explain what I'm trying to convey. Uh, and so when you elevate your consciousness, when you keep your vibe high, keep it in love and, and unified in the sense of neutrality, I'm not buying into this narrative or that narrative, I'm staying neutral. Uh, this is not my reality. I give no consent. Um, I choose love, I choose peace, I choose harmony, and really keep focusing and focusing and focusing on that. That's how you can kind of maintain that vibration. It's difficult, um, especially when you're, you know, you're in it, your, your, your life is being impacted. Um, again, entrepreneurs got it early on, then businesses got it, then um, the students got it, uh, returning to school at, at universities, uh, and then the city workers got it, and now the feds are kind of getting uh, hit with sort of uh, distortion. And so again, someone you know is pretty pissed off today somewhere uh, in Canada. So uh, that energy is collective, right? That collective angst, that collective frustration and justice is, is out there. And so it's, it's to be mindful of that and to have compassion and to ground yourself and align yourself so that you, know, you can navigate your world. We're still here. Um, is with as much ease and grace with as much love and joy as possible so outside the new moon if you take the new moon alone this new moon is about uh you know discovering some talents some gifts some some extraordinary uh skill set uh that you uh did not know about and it's kind of kind of bringing from the past past lives uh past incarnations past present future really time is infinite um we'll say past into the future, into the now, um, where you're going to perhaps be feeling that you're going to like, wow, I can do this. I don't know how I know how to do this. Or being able to um, learn a new skill quickly with very little effort. Um, it could be your psychic gifts really kicking in and like, wow, I didn't know I could read auras or see auras and, or I couldn't see dead people. Now I see dead people. Um, so it depends on everybody. Everybody's going to get it differently. Um, so what our exercise today together is going to be is a guided journey on sort of uh, bringing those talents and gifts out uh, to be more visible, um, demonstrable, demonstrable, demon, what's the word? Demonstrable, no, demonstrable. Anyways, out into the world uh, so you can actualize it and act upon them, uh, use them of course for the greater good. That's the whole point is bringing out down these gifts for your life purpose and, and for helping um, a wider audience. And uh, yeah, so, so we're going to do that today, which is kind of activating some, some uh, untapped gifts and skills. And uh, my hope is that, again, those tools be part of your toolkit. Uh, again, for many of you who identify as light warrior, you know, you can start using these in your toolkit and um, helping your friends, family and loved ones um, and whatever. Uh, so yeah, there's not really much to say other than, you know, the, the, the raging retrogrades are very, very, you know, much um, feeling, they're being felt, and then this new moon. And um, lots of predictions are happening on the channels right now. Um, so the seers who see the future and things, um, that's not me, by the way, uh, I'm a problem solver, um, are saying that October 16th, something big is gonna happen. Um, they don't say good, they don't say bad. Um, they say it's a game changer. Um, I've heard it now from four different sources that, are, that I trust, that I know are good. Um, so heads up on October 16th, I'm not entirely sure. I, I can't feel it out. So I don't even profess to know anymore what's going on. The energy is very fluid, very fast moving. Um, again, we'd have to set the intention that ease and grace, love, peace, harmony, love, peace, harmony, love, peace, harmony. So no matter what is happening on the outside world, we're going to stay grounded no matter what, right? Um, um, so I offer that to you as uh, I, I know Elizabeth Peru spoke about it. Uh, I know Pete Bernard spoke about it. Who was the other person? There's two other people that spoke about October 16th. Mm, sorry, I can't remember. But anyway, see, see if that date comes up for you uh in your own readings or channelings um yeah so who's chatting about the internet uh yes yeah, so the internet uh oh that's christine yes so 
Sure. In, in many of the blogs, uh, Simon Parks talks about the internet going down all the time. So when and how um, and why you can get a camp that says it's the good guys taking the internet down um, uh, in order for them to do the good. The other side can say, oh, no, it's the bad guys doing machinations and fuckery to screw up the people. So if the internet goes down, oh, well. Uh, I, I do think it's a good idea. So my mom and I had this talk, Christine, today, actually. Um, uh, my mom's way more down the rabbit hole um, than I am. I think she's because she has more time to read. Um, we did talk about having a, an emergency plan in terms of how do we contact each other? Because uh, there's only two of us now, right? Um, because if the internet goes down, my cell phone will go off. Like it won't work. My cell phone won't work because I'm on Rogers. And it depends on how your provider, um, I mean, Karen, you're the engineer, how it, you know, the cables, the, the underwires, the wires, the towers. So if the internet does go down, I think my phone goes down too. Um, even my landline goes down too. Uh, so we kind of had an agreement about like, she'll come to me me to stay put um and then we'll go to my nieces to let them know we're okay and like things like this so i know it sounds cray cray and we had these plans back in in place for december 2012 when we were told it was going to happen then so things like having enough food in the house gas in the car cash not debit card not not credit card um in case the machines don't work um I have heard it. I no one has been correct on timelines, so I don't get too attached to it anymore myself. Um, I do have extra food in the house. I do have a can opener. I always have gas in the car. I always have cash portable. Um, that's all I have. There's people who are way down that rabbit hole and you know, like ready. For Armageddon, uh, I'm not, but um, I I can survive a couple days. So even on the um, Ottawa, you know, City of Ottawa website, they tell you to be self, you know, contained for a couple days in case there is an emergency. Mm. And if it goes down, don't assume it's the it's the bad like okay, good and bad. I'm using duality because I can't use any other language. Um, don't assume it's the bad guys doing it. Because I know the good guys have taken things down too in order to do things quicker. So don't always assume the worst. Uh, and if it does go down, just try to have perhaps some um, a communication plan with your family. Um, if you are if you have loved ones you don't live with and or live far away, like what what would you do? What could you do to communicate? Um, I know some people are asking me and my freedom groups to have like email lists. Um, in case Facebook goes down again, um, or Telegram, um, that's an option. But again, if the internet goes down, all those options don't work. So I leave it to you to decide, like I, I have a sort of a, a balanced approach to that kind of stuff. Um, do I think it could go down? Sure, but from what I'm seeing and feeling in the world, yeah, October is gonna be one of those months. So would it surprise me? No, do I know anything more? No. So just take that with a grain of salt. Grain of salt. Um, yes. Uh, well, Christine, again, you're in a world, you know, uh, the federal government right now is is an interesting place to be. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, all right. So if everyone can go to, oh, hey, Maureen, welcome. Hey, Patty. Um, if everyone can go to their chat box, lower third on the bottom chat box, and just tell me how are you feeling? Uh, lately so some of you i connect with on a regular basis others of you i don't get to see often um how are you doing uh just if you could go to your chat box now so i can read some comments uh and energetically i will welcome everyone again we've got um some people watching on a replay so welcome christine gail jennifer john jude uh karen maureen pat and patty welcome welcome I say your name so that you're part of the energy of the experience. Uh, four new messages. Why can't I see the messages right away? 
This is, I don't know why Zoom is doing this to me today. Sorry, Mercury retrograde, I do know. <laughs> I actually know why. Okay, I can't read the messages. Okay. Um, did I say welcome, Jennifer? Did I miss Jennifer? I thought I said welcome. Uh, Maureen is unsettled, great but exhausted, fired up, roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Again, even if you're not affected by what's happening outside, um, many are and many more will be. Um, so just recognize that. And, and the ones that are unsettled are unsettled for good reason. And it's just going to get worse before it gets better. So there's just going to be more people affected by these mandates and um, more anger is going to erupt and frustration. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully we can find a peaceful way through it um, or not. Or we go like the root, root of Australia. So I, I really don't know. And our vision is to hold the seers, the light warriors, the earth angels, all the people on the panel. Our job is to keep everyone as calm as possible, as positive as possible, solution driven. What can we do? Okay, can't do that. What can we do? Um, and we're starting to do that as a community. Uh, and focusing on, I do not consent and visualizing the future you want. That is imperative. So um, I taught this last Friday on October 1st. I did do a meditation called Australia, We Are With You because of the heinous injustices happening in Australia right now. Like it's beyond Afghanistan. It's, it's the police are shooting at grandmothers. Like it's beyond dark. Uh, and funny enough that Australia was always, um, who told me this story? Someone maybe at my birthday party uh, about if you played the game risk, if you won Australia, you won the game risk. So what it meant to mean is that Australia was a pivotal country, um, in the game. Um, so when people go, why Australia? I'm like, ah, well, there's a connection to Australia somehow. Um, so again, you have to do what your conscience tells you. I can't tell you what's right and wrong for you to do. Uh, but that's the point of democracy is letting other people choose what's right and wrong for them. Um, having said that, I, I want to laugh when I say these things. Uh, our job as consciously aware people, regardless of your position, is to hold the future of love, peace, and harmony. I taught that on Friday. I did a free webinar. If you guys want it, in fact, what I'll do is for this replay, I'll uh, tag along the uh, Australia replay so that you can learn how to actually change energy. And that's the point. It's, it's about changing energy right now. It's coming up. The darkness is so, it has to be so gross and so evident to everybody that when it does finally get cleared, it's done. Um, but that's the point is right now it's getting gross and ugly and, and dark for many, 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 many people around the world. Uh, so we have to keep the light on, right? That's the whole point. Um, so today's new moon energy, we're going to focus on, uh, actualizing, bringing down into the etheric from the etheric down into the physical world, uh, gifts that you didn't have before, or that you may have had, but like, we're going to get them more, amplify them, activate them. And hopefully they will manifest in your life in a way that is useful to your purpose, to navigating your life, whatever that is. Um, so we're going to start with a general card reading for the people on this um, session. And then I'm going to do uh, individual, oh, sorry, not individual, pardon me. Um, well, actually, yeah, you know what? I could do one card pulls for everybody. Um, we have got a small group online and then I'll just pull a general card for those who are on the replay. Okay, so that's what I'll do. General card reading, about the new moon in October, and then one card pulls per person, okay? So uh, what do we start with? So this sort of led this um, dialogue. Uh, look at the eyes there. Blessings from your soul. You are a radiant being with many unique talents. But isn't that funny? Ha ha, it's, it's the first card that I pulled. Look with the eyes of love and you will see this. Feel the creative power within you and the blessings pouring in as the healing light of your soul 
flows into every part of you. So there's the, the woman, her body and the eyes. Yeah, so that actually funny enough was the first card I pulled after I was told uh, to do the talent journey. So I was like, oh, isn't that funny? Or not, ha ha ha. Spirit of self-reflection. So these are cards that I made for a workshop. There's a whole bunch of them and I shuffled. Spirit of self-reflection, actually speaking of reflection, I think you can't read that, can you? It's actually spirit of self-reflection backwards. <laughs> so again, looking within um, to how can I serve? Um, what else is possible within myself? The river card comes up around movement. Again, even though things are flowing, um, we can be like water going around something. If there's an obstacle, we can go around it. Um, it's to be fluid and adapt. The ancestor card, watch for signs. So this is some white calf buffalo woman. Uh, watch for the signs. Again, that could be repeated patterns, dreams, uh, your intuition, uh, synchronicity, serendipity, luck, opportunity. Um, look for the easy, look for the, uh, um, the light. Actually, you know what? The homework assignment is to watch the movie Celestine Prophecy, the movie. It's on Netflix, uh, excuse me, it's on Prime Video. Um, it's free uh, if you have Prime. Um, and it's a great, great movie because it actually is really about navigating this kind of timeline. Uh, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Uh, let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Own your power and soar. So again, we're doing some, you know, the invitation is to do some ancestral clearing to get rid of sort of any garbage you're bringing in. Empowered service card comes up in the crystal deck. Uh, it's Yogananda and Rhodonite. I love Rhodonite. Um, and again, it's how may I serve? Which is really where the light warrior wants to be. It's up to you. Meaning each of us need to take um, uh, uh, an enlightened position, uh, a healed outcome, visualize uh, the narrative changing for everybody, uh, visualize everyone happy and healthy, uh, visualize children unmasked, people free to travel, uh, people happy with jobs, free to work, you know, free, just free, just freedom. Take the risk card. Here we have something that looks like Ayers Rock in Australia. And there's the hawk and taking risks. Uh, so again, it's that concept of, of, of wings out is what my, my phrase is. Love it, because here's another bird in this message after the storm. It's again, the light after the storm. So many of our work, uh, I'll be honest, is gonna be about um, putting the pieces back together when the shit goes down and information's revealed and everyone's shocked. Well, not everyone. Um, the forecasters, the seers do see a lot of repair work required, um, in the near future for society. And, um, so there's going to be a lot of the healers are going to be kind of working a lot to do some forgiveness and, and holding the light that way. And, uh, three of wands, which is three of fire in this deck. And it says abundance, things looking good, uh, making long-term plans. So again, it's about um, where in your life can you feel free right now? Some of you are very free and all you're focusing on is how to spend your money and where to travel. Great, stay there. Look at the other people in the world though and remember that they're not all in that same situation for their reasons. And that at some point, if the machinations continue, everyone's gonna be in the same boat at some point. So just kind of have compassion. Uh, pink rose, rose of Lady Nada. So there's the rainbow. Lady Nada is a Mother Mary figure from the Middle East. And again, the pink rose is about divine mother, forgiveness, compassion. And this is almost like the temperance card in the tarot deck, just so you know. The very soon card comes up. Uh, this is in the romance deck. For those of you who are single, it could be a message very soon. Uh, clearly decide on what you want and bring it into your field. So again, it's visualizing what you want and need in the world. 
even though it's not here, if, even if it's not here yet, and, and going into that void and bringing it into your life. The celebration card comes up. And again, this is a full moon message. Full moon is at the end of the month. So again, to me, by the end of this month, we're going to see some interesting things happen. Yin and yang card, balance. The world is being balanced. And that actually is what's happening right now. Uh, the inner and outer world. Uh, but again, um, there is a war happening. So there's no way around. There's no pussyfooting around that. There is a spiritual war going on. Last card here is called uh, Here It, a longing for home, homesick for the stars. So to me, it's more about um, remembering that we're all connected to source energy, that we're all star children, um, earth angels. Um, you know, we, have, we haven't come this far to only come this far, uh, that we're all made of stardust and good magic. And we need to start using our tools, demanding and commanding an alternative narrative. Again, I talked about that on Friday at my free We Are Australia Meditation for a Change experience. I will send you the link uh, with this replay. So you'll have two uh, experiences to look at and reflect on. And no matter, again, what doesn't matter what position you have, um, you can use it to make the world a better place. And I think that's where we can all agree that we need the world to be a better place. Cheers to that. All right, so uh, now I'm going to go to, I'll just go through the alpha thing. So Chris, you're at the top of, so I'm going to pick um, the deck that's always the favorite. I have so many decks, of course, and it's this um, energy oracle card deck by Sandra Taylor. It seems to be the most popular one. I think it's because it's colorful. So now, now we're doing the individual cards. Okay, guys. So one card pull. And this one's for Christine. Well, Angel of Love. So this is the romance card. So Christine, shave those legs. Be open to love. Uh, give love as you continue to do and be love. But this is a romance card. So yay for Christine. Gail. So Gail, letting go of some kind of attachment. Again, the masks are being pulled off. Uh, you're revealing uh, more parts of your true self. Uh, the load is being lightened. So my sense is um, you're having some kind of transformation and letting go old outdated beliefs about yourself or others. Um, yeah, so you're having a revelation of self. Uh, Jen K, a contract. So scales of justice coming up for you. Uh, this could be work-related in your case. Um, there's the Akashic Records. Uh, this is the goddess justice. Uh, again, uh, uh, frankly, I would demand justice. Like that's one of my prayers for you would be justice for Jen. Justice for, you know, and you can name the person, your children. Mr. John, representing the divine masculine. Uh, Archangel Gabriel shows up. Um, so Gabriel's the messenger, dude. Um, it's psychic prophecy, uh, divine direction, but the horn and the, is the messenger. So my sense is you're getting um, um, some kind of message or information given to you in the near future, which is awesome sauce. Jude gets woman holding a coin. So Jude, this is about money coming into your life through earned um, income, through creativity, um, through self work. So, so whether it's as you as a healer, you as a efficient, um, you know, I don't know if it's back taxes, uh, that are owed to you. I mean, a refund, um, or a pension or something. I'm not sure it's, it's, it's something like that. So money's coming to Jude. Jude's buying the drinks. Karen, Karen, what's on Karen's mind? What does Karen need to know? So there's a celebration card coming up. Um, this card is a mixed card. So Three of Cups in the tarot. Research it, Karen, because it really depends on your situation. So Three of Cups in the negative means that there's a third party in your life. Uh, three of Cups in the positive is celebration and community, which is where I want to go for you. Like, you know, I want to obviously focus on the positive. Um, so that could be celebration, uh, sisterhood, community. 
So again, research though, Karen, because that's a tricky one to decipher. Uh, three of cups in the tarot is what you want to research. Marine, well, Marine, I tell you, I keep, you know, a uh, man on the cold in the coin. But you got to understand, Marine, every time I pull cards from Marine, which has been a while now, it's always romance cards. So this is a money card, but in Marine's world, I know it's romance. So Marine, you get, the guy's still there. So don't worry, he hasn't come yet, but he hasn't gone either. So Pat, door to romance, man. Now, I think you're already involved. I think you're already in a relationship. But um, so this is a romance card as well. Uh, but if you're already in a, in a ro relationship, it means that love is opening up in your world. And it would be quantum love. It would be like, you know, soul love, spiritual love, energy love. And so it's like you're taking the heart out of the cage and really letting it out into the world. So that could be more as a, as a purpose or as a passion or a service type of role. And then Patty, you get a solar plexus. Um, this is Archangel Chamuel. Chamuel is the angel of love. Isn't that funny? All these cards are love cards. Um, this is the angel of love focusing on your power center uh, in, in the middle of your body, the solar plexus, uh, the, 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 what's it called? Do again? Um, forget what it's called in Chinese medicine. Um, anyway, um, to me, for Patty, that means um, you're going to have to stand up even though you're being bent over or pushed down. So it's more of a inner resolve, like hold the line, like, you know, keep yourself balanced and keep praying for help. Keep doing your energy balancing um, to keep yourself inner alignment, uh, no matter what the outside forces are doing to you. Um, and so I'm going to pull a general card uh, for the people who uh, aren't, um, aren't watching live. I'll just do this one card for everyone there. So this is the uh, root chakra and Archangel Michael. So Michael is about protection, uh, cutting away the negative cords. And the root chakra, of course, is about abundance, sexuality, uh, staying grounded. Um, so knowing that you're protected and you're guided um, is the message for the people watching on the replay. OK, any questions up till now? Otherwise, we'll get right into it. I'm feeling really hot all of a sudden. Is it hot outside or is it just hot in my world right now? I don't even have the heater on. Um, is it hot where you are? Um, you're just hot. Ha, ha, ha. Funny, funny, funny. The deck is that I just used is the question. It's the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Taylor. Uh, probably one of the most popular decks you could get. Cheers, let's have some water. Because we have time, uh, let's do, um, for those of you who want to ask a question, let's do one question per person. Uh, again, I'm gonna go chronologically down. You do not have to ask a question, that's fine. Uh, I'm only gonna answer them here on the live, though don't, don't send me an email later. You got me now, ask me now, or don't ask me now. Um, and that's okay. So Chris, I'm going to allow you to talk. I don't know why my, my settings are like this. Someone has to show me the zoom settings. Cause I hate not seeing you guys. Hi, Chris. How are you? Oh, it's been an interesting, I know, week. man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've seen all your, Oh, happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday you. to you. Thank you. Yeah. It was my birthday gift for, from work. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, and our email just came uh, after we shut down, of course, five o'clock, because we're an Yeah, because the unions don't want to be, you know, yeah. A little bit different, so we're still waiting on word and everything else. Um, so I'm just going to ask, um, my question would be more like, um, when, when, what would be the best time to retire? <laughs> when can you retire? <laughs> well, I'm 55 now, so... <laughs> No, but I don't know, like, what's your math? Like, you know, how many years in do you have? Uh, 31 and a half. Oh my God. So you're, you, you already have it, right? Uh, we, yeah, I can, I can right now if I wanted to. So I would wait until November to see what is happening. Okay. Um, and if not in your case, cause, uh, I think you could, so not everyone can do this. Mm -hmm. If you can take yeah. the leave without pay thing and ride it. 
Mm -hmm. uh, then write it. Yeah. And then, you know, more information comes in December. Okay. So it's like, this is a general message to everybody in this situation. We need to yeah. get to December. Yeah. Okay. So we can hold the line until December, which is not easy because that's, you know, three months of whatever income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because you have some flexibility, uh, keep that as an option that might be very, uh, because uh, Mr. John can teach you. In fact, I ha John, I have to talk to you about that how to retire and then come back into the gov as a consultant. Okay. Um, right. Where you're not bound by anybody's rules, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, you can still do the work you're doing, but with more time on your hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have options. Just, I need you to know that. I think that's the message I can give you. Okay. Don't, don't worry yet. Okay. So yeah. is that the John that I met the other day? Yes, our friend John from um, the, the 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 wine tasting thingy. Yes, hi John. Yeah, so you'll see him in a second. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get John. We're gonna pimp John out. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, uh, Gail. Welcome, Gail. How are you today? Hi, I'm just fine. Good. I guess uh, I I want to ask you a vague question. Okay. Sure, I'll give you a if, vague answer then. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know how I can stop a bad habit. So <laughs> you have to go to the imprint in the body. Where is it attached in your body? First, clear that area energetically. Then you go to the unresolved emotion it represents. So I don't feel loved. If you eat too much, you don't feel safe. Uh, if you have too much sex, you don't feel loved. If you're sex horny, you're unloved. Um, because everything has balance, right? There's balance in everything. So if you're over something, like you're too much doing something, it means you're not getting enough something else somewhere else. So you have to uncover what is the unmet need. Okay, well, that's, that's helpful. It's and then you go part. heal that. So, so if, if I'm not, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say I was, I'm not, but let's say I was a nymphomaniac, I would have to give myself love instead of giving love to others. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so self-care versus prostitution. Uh, if it was too much food, uh, again, I'm depressed and sad. So how can I make myself more happy so I don't have to use food as my depressant or my alcohol or my wine or my marijuana or my porn or my gambling? You understand? So every addiction is an unmet need. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck with that. And, there, and there's tons of um, great EFT tapping. Um, how to get rid of an addiction. Tapping would be really good for that. Uh, Jen K, welcome back. How are you? Hi, Jen. Uh, good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big day. Are we yeah. good? Uh, I'm honestly, I'm a bit embarrassed now because I was very emotional and sent maybe a hot-headed email to my union and the pres oh, union president. Well, that's, don't worry about it. He, <laughs> okay. It'd be one of thousands, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Um, so when when the justice card came up, looks like because I'm just morally opposed to what's happening for sure. Yeah. Um, does it mean, is it like, Jennifer, you have to take action and just it like, right? We so all walk this everyone line. has to decide what is right for them. The call. Mm -hmm. So, uh, your spirit will start talking to you, especially after this meditation okay. about, you know, how involved are you going to get? And, uh, some people are waiting on the sidelines. Um, some people will never get in the fight. They'll ignore it and they'll keep walking and like, they don't know what the problem is. Some are in the fight, like, you know, um, fighting and some are like watching some, so there's different levels of this concept of the fight. And we don't have, ever want to use that terminology, but that unfortunately is what's happening, right? This is very visceral. Yeah. So in your case, because you've had all the training, you've had all these really great skill sets, and now it's impacting you. Um, when do you act? It's up to you to decide, okay, now I have to start, you know, maybe writing MPs or, or uh, talking to friends or 
or joining some protests or, you know, like really learning more about what I need to learn about, right? My rights as a Canadian, as a, as a fed a civil servant, uh, as a mom, as a taxpayer. So uh, that you're at that point now. Right. What I just said now in terms of more, uh, I would just add into that, you know, you, you asked for the Australia replay. I'm going to send it to you in this group email. I would just do the Australia replay as, as many times as you can. So when okay. you see something you don't like, change it. When you read something you don't like, change it. So okay, it's a cool. constant act of prayer in your world. Hmm. Yeah, That's rather than, okay. Yeah. Well, no, it's both. I mean, I'm doing both. You know me, I'm out there, I'm speaking, I'm doing, and I'm praying. So, I mean, you could do it all. It's up to you. I'm just saying that right now I would add in that component uh to you okay amazing that's good and then see yeah. how much further you want to take it okay yeah thanks always go with your heart though always go with your heart mr john can you unmute hello how are you good how are you good i'm pipping you out like crazy man i see that no like this is not even like this is the fourth time i've said your name today i know don't worry, I'll talk to you. I'll I'll get you to talk to my I'm, friend John. I'm special. You are. What's your question? Um, I've got lots on my plate these days. Uh, do you have any? I are you seeing anything that I should be focusing on? One thing in particular. The money. Okay. You know what I mean. Yep. That. Thank you. That way you're resourceful. Right. Yeah. So do did you ask for the Australia one? No, but I'd like it too. Yeah, so you're gonna get it. So I want you to do it. And so you take and like you you take your money situation. Yeah. Again, you're gonna learn this and in the, in the, in the replay. You bring it all together. You bless it. You harness it, and you send it back out as good. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Convert it. Convert it. Convert it. Convert it. Convert it. Jude, babes, how are you? Oh, what a nice picture you have up. Unmute, please, and thank hey. you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Long time no here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, How can I help? Uh, I, as I put in the uh, in the chat, I I had a reading recently of um, and three words kept coming up through the and was love, money, passion, love, money, passion, which are three really good words. Yeah. And um, just sort of thinking. What, what card did I pull for you? Uh, money, uh, oh, lady, lady yeah. with a coin. Women holding a coin. So there yeah, you go. I just confirmed it. Yeah, but also among that, uh, in that, uh, um, in that reading, and also just in my own meditations and stuff, I've been really being drawn to think about or to try and figure out what twin flames are. And I'm just kind of, I'd like to hear your kind of short. Reader's Digest version of of what you believe a twin flame is, Jen. So, as I understand it, in my experience and in my training, uh, so source energy is one big ball of light. Mother, Father, God is it. Right. It is source. It is the Alpha and the Omega. There is only it in the worlds ever created. It is bored. It is lonely. It wants to experience itself, so it births life. Science calls us the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. Okay, from those psh, uh, expressions becomes divine monads. So divine monads are completely uh, smaller versions of the bigger source. Okay. So perfect male, perfect female duality in one. So neither male or female, both. Yeah. Source is both. Both is she and he. It's it's okay. in it. So those divine monads go out and create life and then somewhere along the way they separate for whatever reasons they split off but this time is male and female frequencies uh and so the twin flame concept which i'll be honest with you too many motherfucking psychics in our community tell people they've met their twin flame yeah, I know. 90% yeah. of twin flames are not yeah. incarnated on earth at the time of their twin. Yeah. They're not here. So yeah. one stays up, one incarnates, 
This one holds the light and helps them navigate kind of like a, a loving angel. Uh, this person on earth, best choice is a twin soul or a good soulmate, you know, you know, to walk right. with them through life. Right. So the, so the true twin flame is the divine monad that made them whole. Right. So like the other half, the, the original other half. Right. Right. Yeah. So don't get me wrong. You can have amazing love stories on earth. Oh, yes. Uh, now, the only one I really know of is a true twin flame story is Magdalene and, and Jesus. That's the only story that I've ever heard is a true twin flame story. The rest were just really good love stories, like yeah. great connections, great, you know, and again, as long as you have it, who cares what the person is? <laughs> like, right. You know, it's like, uh, but when I have like my young clients come up and say, I really want to meet my twin flame. I'm like, well, you have been etheric um stop looking for them feel them and attract the one that's supposed to help you in this lifetime right like the yes. partnership the the collaborator the um the wingman the wing woman like you know whatever it is so people get too caught up in it well and that's yeah i that my concept or my idea of it is very is exactly what you described so um that was so there's a lot of twin flame energy coming in but it's to me right now but it's obviously it's not from here it's the etheric. Uh, I think that a lot of twin flame energy is coming from the etheric. Yeah. Helping unions come together. Okay. So that the right people are with the right people to do the right work as kings and queens of earth. Or uh -huh. queen, queen, you know, king, king. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying, yeah. I don't want to make it about any one way, but yeah. So that your, your, your partnerships can become aligned. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jen. Yeah. That's the, yeah. Thank you. Tricky. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, who's next? Uh, Karen, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, I just have had like a lot of weird information come my way about this relationship that I'm in. Uh -huh. I just want to know if it has served its purpose. And if it hasn't, like, um, it's a complicated answer or a complicated question. So, has it served its purpose? It's bringing you an awareness you needed to have. Yeah. Where you were blind to something, you didn't want to see something that was evident. Now, what you're going to do about it? That's up to you. So it depends on have you, do you think you've tasked it or you've actioned it or you've rem remedied it or, you know what I mean? Like healed <laughs> it or done something about it. So yeah. um, that's where it's a vague answer because it's only you will be able to determine uh, if it served its purpose. Meaning the fact it was delivered to you to bring your awareness to something was uh, already a, um, a job completed. So what you do about the information, uh, it's up to you because you have free will. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it. So I'm only just... you, only you can determine has it served its purpose. Meaning cool. it's already been delivered. You've heard it. Yeah, it's like yeah. It, you heard it, and so that's been served a purpose. Yeah. Amazing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, Miss Maureen, how are you? Long time no here. Hi, Jen. How are you doing? Good. Oh, my question is, um, I just want to know how the next three months are going to go. I retired as of July 15th. Oh, good which for you. Adds up to the, yeah, and adds up to the number nine, which I thought was very cool. It's only after the fact I figured that out. And I just want to know October, November, December, just how am I going to ride through that? If I'm going to ride easily. I just find right, since I've retired, I've just been unsettled, very unsettled. Well, the world is unsettled. So yes, and I it's feel not it so very... much. I don't think it's so much about you, Marie. No, yeah. Uh, are you consulting at all or are you really retired? Like you're done. I'm really retired. Actually, I've just decided I just start, I've started applying for little admin jobs, not in the government. I do not want to work in the government, yeah. been there. 
don't want to lead a team, don't want to be in charge of shit. I just want to go in, be task oriented, get things done and enjoy right. life. Like you work so at home. Why I ask is because I see you. Uh, so whether it's the government or you, as you say, like, like an admin or a part-time or a, or perhaps a lower uh, scope yeah. job, um, I see you working uh, at something that keeps you occupied. Thank you. It doesn't you. feel like, oh my God, I love this job. It feels like I'm happy to be here. Do, 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 do. And it's That's almost a like a good thing to do while you're writing it out. Yes, thank you. That's what something, I something to do while something else is happening. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. And I don't think your real retirement kicks in until 2022. I agree. Yeah. In terms of the fun. Yeah. The fun factor doesn't kick in. Uh, Miss Pat, how are you doing? Hi, can you hear me now? <laughs> Everyone was muted. Yeah. You just have to unmute. Okay. I gotcha. So I have a simple question. Do you feel that my husband and I are going to move within the next year? I got to know. <laughs> well, that was easy. I mean, you have free will. You have, you can execute, actualize it any way you want. Like start hiring a realtor, looking at properties. I don't feel it. So okay. it's a, it was that simple. Um, I think you might buy a property though. Like you might add to your investments, like add right. in a trailer, or add in a cottage or add in a whatever, a vacation home. I don't know how you want to describe it, but like, I think you might be adding and not subtracting. Okay, that's great. I'm going to keep it simple. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you. And oops, sorry. And I know there's my Patty. Patty, babe. Hey, sweetie, how are you? Good, how are you? Hanging in. Oh, God. My life has been hell for nine weeks. I'm sorry. Was it anything related to anything or just itself? My husband had a stroke, a heart attack, an aneurysm, and a kidney septic. Holy shit, babe. No wonder you got the whole, whole the line. Wait, where's my card? I did not know all this. Wow. Oh, God, it's been... He's never been sick a day in his life, and he got everything one after another. Oh, so wow, we're man. Still... So sorry to hear that. So my question is, is he going to get better? Uh, well, I think he already is getting better. No. <laughs> well, he is getting better somewhere. Somewhere, like if, if it's not yet physical, uh, there's an energy pulling him up. Oh, not, not up to die, like, uh, like up from the recline position. Yeah, because he's still quite a mess. Well, um, I, I, I get only positive energy around him. So again, I know it's hard to hear when you're living the shit. Uh, but that's sometimes what happens is the cess has to come out in order for the healing to happen. Do you know what I mean? Like we have to barf something oh, out before we feel better. So it's almost yeah. like I think he's in the darkness before the dawn or whatever that saying goes like yeah i just see a lot of green healing energy around him uh i feel he's very safe energetically and he's almost like it's the cutting letting of the old you know the ninth you know the, in the 1800s like it's yeah. like i just see him being bloodlet like it's just like, so funny because he said that the other day i need a good bleeding <laughs> right yeah so i see him being like leached or like cut and again it's energetic uh but I know that that was for good reason, right? Like, but sucking the poison out of the body. That would be good because we're still probably looking at open heart surgery and we still have to get this kidney tube off of them. But I'm hoping that the results from the yeah, MRI today again, are good. Hold the line in your world. Those are a major overhaul on the body, which are important and dangerous, but also recoverable. Like, it's not like, he's given three weeks notice, like, you know, he's not palliative. Like, so yes, those are major life events. And I still see it going well. I love you. So hold the line, send the energy in, have people putting him in on prayer, you know, ask your prayer warrior friends to send energy. In fact, we'll all say a prayer for him tonight. What's his name? Kevin. Kevin. We will send Kevin. Uh, sorry, Cobden? Collins. No, no. What's, yeah, I know your last name. Sorry, where do you live? Colburn. Where? Colburn. Colburn or Colburn? Colburn. C. Yeah, Colburn. 
Yeah. Maybe that's where I got Cobden from in my head. Um, so Kevin and Colburn, we're going to send him positive healing energy right now. All I can tell you is Archangel Raphael's around him and it doesn't Perfect. feel like the angel of death. It feels like the angel of recovery. That's what I needed to hear. Yeah. But keep, keep the prayer warriors, keep the energy positive. I've been doing that, but I'm getting a little exhausted. Yeah. Hey babe. Like with the fight's been happening for a lot of people too. So. Oh, exactly. Keep, keep doing what you can. And, and when you, when you are tired, ask for help. Ask for help. Thank you. I need to Much learn love. that one. Love you. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay. So, um, I need to take a five minute bio break. So we will meet, uh, uh, if you don't mind, sorry, I just realized I drank too much water. Uh, so give me five minutes. It's 829. We'll meet back at, uh, uh, 834. Okay. And, um, grab some water and get ready to journey. So be in a quiet place. Can I play some music for you while I'm probably going to take this sweatshirt off because it's too fucking hot where I am. Oh, this is an ad, so ignore this.
Okay, hopefully we're all back. I'm much lighter, hair is back, getting ready to rock and roll. All right, so um, we've all journeyed together many times. Uh, Pat, I think you're the only person maybe that we haven't done this before. So palms up on the lap, wherever you are, relax shoulders, eyes closed, feet flat on the floor, everything is uncrossed. So no cross arms, legs, ankles, nothing. So you can be lying down uh, or sitting up, um, doesn't matter. You just have to listen to my voice. You don't need to watch anything. And we're gonna imagine ourselves the first position or the first imagery we want is a tree. We are becoming a great ancient tree. Perhaps it's the avatar tree from the movie or the tree of life or some favorite tree of yours in the park. Have that imagery in your body. You become the tree and the feet become the roots. And with your in breath, breathe in the flowers. Exhale out into the balloon, stress. Breathe in the beauty of life. Breathe out any anxiety or stress. And as you're breathing down, you're imagining these roots going through the soil rock and bedrock beneath you. In through the nose, out the mouth. The roots are going down, 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 all the way down to the center of the earth. Imagine the center of the earth as a big ball of crystal white fire. The earth's core is Gaia's heart herself, the Holy Spirit, white fire healing energy, Pachamama. And wrap your energy roots three times around the entire circumference of the earth's core. One, two, three. And with your up breath now, pull up the white fire healing energy, bring it back up, up, up that same root system, reversing the position coming up and filling up your body. Second image, please imagine yourself as a light bulb now that's getting screwed into the earth and being lit up from within. Deep breaths down, breathing the energy back up. And now we wanna amplify, increase your light quotient. So magnify. If you're a 60 watt light bulb, now you're 220. Breathing in through the nose, out the mouth. Repeat the words, activate white fire. And imagine that your body dissolves and disappears into the white fire. White fire in your blood, your bones, your flesh, your soft tissues. And now send the energy out the top of your head to the moon above us. Imagine that new moon. Now the new moon is typically dark. It's not lit, it's not illumined. But for the purposes of the visualization, we're gonna imagine that silver fire healing energy pours down from the moon over us like a shield. Remember I talked to you about that invisibility cloak, like a mirrored shield. Repeat, activate silver fire.
You're breathing up white fire, you're breathing down silver fire. Really feel the connection to the earth where some of you are feeling unsafe, unsettled, disconnected. Take this time to reconnect. We're gonna do a forgiveness prayer because everyone's, it's just that time to do it. So we're gonna repeat out loud after me. I forgive myself and whatever has caused me pain. I forgive him, I forgive her, I forgive them, I forgive the others and whatever caused them pain. I forgive life for letting this happen to me. I forgive creator for watching this happen to me. I forgive creator for watching this happen to us. <sighs> Breathe that one in and out, everyone. And now, imagine the moon is cascading silver fire healing energy over you. So I just want you to focus on the mirrored, platinum, really liquid silver fire. And it's going to create a protective shield around your mind, body, spirit, emotions, finances, and feeling side of life. Make sure that silver liquid fire, that silver liquid molten energy, almost like melted silver, is covering every inch of your body, front, back, left, right, inside, out, outside, in. And now we're gonna say some command statements. So again, repeat after me, please. I give no consent to anybody who means me harm. Take a deep breath in and out and refocus on that silver fire healing energy. Reconnect to the roots again, guys. We got to go down now. Feel that white fire healing energy of mother's love, Pachamama, Mother Earth, Tara Gaia, who loves all her children equally. Feel the feet become fire. The legs start to wobble, wiggle, uh, become electric somehow. And from the depths of her core, you're gonna see the earth's core bubble up like a volcano. And from it is gonna be a gift. This is gonna be one of your soul gifts from the Akashic records on earth, of earth, your books of life, where she's gonna present you a new gift to you in the 3D, the physical world, in order for you to actualize, demonstrate it, um, share it, give it, experience it in real time. 
So how she's going to do that, though, it's going to come up from the center of your body. So she's going to use almost like an elevator, a pulley elevator. She's going to send the gift up, 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 up through the root system beneath your feet. The gift in some shape or form comes up through your feet, through each leg, connects back at the hips, up, up, up the spinal cord until it lands on the center of your chest, which is your sacred heart. So see a magic elevator being bringing up to the service. Mine is riding on a wave of white fire. So with your inhale, breathe up, 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 up the gift until it's sitting in front of the center of your chest in front of you. The gift will be metaphoric. It will have some kind of representation or image will be presented to you. Each of us will have something different, of course. If it's a box, open it. If it's a book, open it. If it's a scroll, unravel it. If it's an object, ask what gift do I receive today? What gift do I receive today? Say that out loud, everyone. You're going to use your thought, feeling, uh, knowing, and hearing. So all your psychic senses are going to now be very intuitive to uncover what is the gift that you get right now. So like Christmas, unwrap it. What is it? Ask questions. Perhaps let's ask, when will I see this gift in the third dimension, in the physical world? You're going to get a timeline, a word, a feeling. Just guess. How shall I use this gift in my life? Or what purpose does this gift have for me in my life? Again, just guess, pay attention to your, your feeling, your knowing, your hearing, your seeing. Who benefits from this gift? Who else will benefit from this gift? Now, perhaps you're going to start to see the outer world, the people that you serve, that you love. What do I need to do in my life today? What do I need to do in my life today to bring this into fruition, to make this real, manifest? If there's other questions that you have about your gift, ask it now.
So now with an open hand, like, I mean, your hands are like uh, out, let's say in um, palm facing out. Imagine you're being gifted this gift now uh, in some shape or form. It lands in your hands. Now your hands are open, uh, palms out in receiving energy. And I just want you to energetically take whatever that gift represents as into your body. Left hand on the upper chest, right hand on the stomach, the solar plexus. So left hand on the heart chakra, which is upper chest, right hand on the solar plexus, stomach. And you're gonna say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful, I am so grateful, I am so grateful. Bring it to me now, now, now. Deliver it to me now, now, now. Bring it out from me now, now, now. Bring it out through me now, now, now. Now we chant the ancient Tao saying da I. It's spelled in English D-A-A-I, but you pronounce it da I, like eyeball. And we're gonna chant this nine times. The phrase means love, peace, harmony. So your left hand is on the upper chest, right hand is still on the stomach, and now collectively we're gonna chant nine times da I together to seal in love. Peace, harmony. Ready? Da I, da I, da I. Deep breath in. Da I, da I, da I. Deep breath in. Da I, da I, da I. Deep breath out. Notice how that chanting is feeling in your body. Notice how the receiving of this gift, the symbolic hug, the symbolic uh, acceptance of this gift is feeling in your energy field now. Mind, body, spirit, emotions, finances, and feeling side of life. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, keeping your hands on your body and now visualizing, guys, how you're going to use it for the greater good. See yourself like a projector woo, out of the third eye, center of the forehead, now projecting out into the, the world, how you see yourself living it, doing it, giving it, sharing it. See yourself having it now. Make it real as possible. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and visualizing you living this truth, living this talent, living this skill, this gift, whatever it is. Again, we're going to chant the I nine times. The I, the I, the I. The I, the I, the I. The I, the I, the I.
Two hands in prayer pose. Take a deep breath in and out to the nose, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Take a deep breath in and out, everyone. We clap and say, it is done, it is done, it is done. Deep breath in, deep breath out. The gift is inside your field now. You're still connected to the earth, which you always should be. You're connected to the celestial, in this case, the moon above us, opening your eyes, noticing what is different. Noticing what is different. Can you just please go to the chat box, guys, and just tell me how you're doing? What's one word? You know how I... Uh, Uh, back in my heart, powerful. Maureen says powerful. Karen says back in my heart. That's awesome. Less head pressure from Christine. That's good. Optimistic, untwisted. Awesome, awesome. So the two cards I pulled for the end of this sort of meditative experience. Interesting. The Courageous Peony. These are the star seed cards by Danielle Noel, which are very high level. The courageous peony, I love peonies. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Yes. So it means let, let those gifts out now. And an interesting perspective one. So here's the planet Earth in outer space. And it actually says perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. So remember the Carl Sagan dot, you are here and we're a tiny dot, um, or the movie Horton, here's a who, and Horton's this big elephant and the, you know, they're tiny little things. So it's all relative. Uh, it's hard when we're in the storm in the thick of things. So uh, again, root, cannot stress that to you enough. Ground yourself, shield yourself every morning. This is not an option anymore not an option anymore. You know, I love the work of Steve Noble. He's got a free YouTube channel. Um, tons of awesome meditations there to do when you're feeling like crap or, you know, something hit. Um, his cord cutting ones are amazing. His uh, violet flame ones are amazing. His star seed ones are amazing. Um, I will send you the replay for tonight and oops, and along with that, the We Are With You Australia to how to harness energy, convert it, and put it back in the positive. My hope is that everyone live I touch lately, I need them to start praying. I need them prayer warriors. I'm asking you and inviting you wherever you see chaos in the world, whether you agree or disagree, transmute it, bless the world, see us all happy, healthy, free and then we'll get there faster. All right, guys, my heart to yours. Thank you for always supporting me and helping me keep the light on. When it is dark outside, we keep the lights on. All right, see you next time, guys. And again, for those of you who want um, another layer of the Light Warrior Bootcamp, I'm doing um, an IET certification from beginning to end, level one, two, and three, and then master and structure on how to be an angel warrior. Um, let me know if you're interested. We're doing it uh, on a Monday to Friday, though, just so you know. Um, the certification all in five days. So um, it's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm excited. Um, more people need to have the tools to do ready to be ready for that healing energy that's coming. All right. Much love, everyone. Thank you. Um, and expect the, the replay hopefully by tomorrow. Drink lots of water. <laughs>